been hired to make the vision of Harbor Center a reality is leaving the company. News 4's Rich Newberg talked with John Colmel, whose announcement came as a great surprise. Rich? Well, Nalina, he was hired uh, 21 months ago uh, by the Pagulas, and we all know the progress that's been made here, but people want to know why he is stepping down so early. It's shocking. I mean, I didn't see it coming. I'm sure nobody else saw it coming. The question is, did John Como see it coming? Why would the president of Harbor Center, who helped create the $200 million world-class sports and entertainment complex, suddenly announce he is stepping down? I'm a fan of transitions earlier than later. Uh, I'm not one to hang around uh, when there isn't a, a real need. He says he got along well with owners Terry and Kim Pagula, but that he knew the project would become more complex and would require new leadership. This was a transition that was long anticipated in terms of the specifics of the Harbor Center role, and it was merely a question of when. Two years ago, John Comel expressed disappointment when his tenure suddenly ended as president and CEO of First Niagara Bank. We're here to play, and we're here to win. He grew First Niagara by acquiring 195 HSBC branches, but the bank's stock price went on the decline. Comel's two-year non-compete clause as part of his former First Niagara contract has now expired, but he would not tell me if he plans on going back into the banking business. But he did express his pride in what he and his team have accomplished at Harbor Center. The successes that we've had have been phenomenal. So. I'm really pleased, really proud of what's been accomplished, more importantly, excited for what will come. And Kim Pagula said John Como's uh, strong leadership, quote, has served us well. 